which was compounded by yesterday's game where Tan got tanned for just a fiver. The banker is now in his ascendancy. The banker is actually in mega aggressive mood. He's being arrogant. He was so arrogant yesterday, he described our beautiful invited guests as stupid. It is going to require a very special player with a very determined attitude to actually reverse things. It is now over two weeks since the banker had to pay out anything more than £20,000. We want to change that today, guys. Whoever is selected, we're looking to you to break the banker. 22 identical sealed boxes, 22 players who have invested a lot of time for the opportunity to win one of these 22 sums of money. So far, we have four 1P winners. We also have yet to create a quarter millionaire. So, let's do it today with one of these people. Dream money or nightmare experience for Sarah. The big moment has arrived. Come to the pound table. Excuse me. <laughs> well, Very tight jeans. Standing room only, so if I sit down, I have to pull them up. Thank you. You all right? Um, I will be. Give me about two minutes and I'll be... OK. Thank you. So if we can just sit here quietly for two minutes. Yes. While you're composing I'm yourself, I'm however, I will tell the world all about you. OK. Sarah Monk yeah. from Leicestershire, mm -hmm. an author, married to Terry, who is here. Hi, Terry. Uh, considers herself to be very lucky as she is living happily with Terry. However, she feels she's unlucky as she's been playing the lottery for years and the one time she forgot to buy a ticket, her numbers came up. <laughs> so, you've brought some photos? I have, yes. Should we have a quick look? Okay. Yeah. Most know? important thing in my life for me are my friends and family. And I couldn't bring a photograph for all of my friends, so I'm really lucky I've got some great friends. But these two girls. This was um, my birthday a few years ago and we'd been out the night before, Terry and I, and I really didn't want to go out again on my birthday because we'd got a bit too drunk the night before and I only do like once a week, I'm a total lightweight. And he persuaded me to go and he'd actually arranged for these guys to come and meet me as a surprise because they both live a little way away. And that is Imogen and we've been friends for 26 years. And that's my Barbie and um, I've known Barbie since I was 21. And this is my little baby, Fred. And he's one of the reasons I'm here. Is it a parrot? He, he's a doggy. Oh. <laughs> Why would anyone want to hold their dog up like that? Because he's my baby. He's very, very lonely. Oh, is he? He is, and he needs a friend. <laughs> 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 and it took me three years to persuade Terry to let me have one dog. And um, it's taken another two years of constant nagging, and he still won't let me have another one. So I figured if I could win a decent amount of money, there are lots of things I would like to do for my friends and my family, but... I could bribe Terry. Do you have a financial target? No. So nothing to put in the book? No. Okay, let's just do the housekeeping. Box number 12, you yep. chose at random before I did, yep. the show. It's sealed by the independent adjudicator, the individual who knows where all the money is. But we don't, he doesn't, and now you are about to go on a voyage of discovery. You will only do this once. You say goodbye to these wonderful people in just under 45 minutes' time, and they collectively are now wishing you well for one very simple reason. They are wanting a very big party. Good luck. Thank you. Rich. Hello. How are you feeling today, hon? Huh? I haven't got a feeling on this one, to be honest. Most, most of them I do, but I haven't on this one. I'm going to go with Rich, 13, please. Even though he hasn't got a feeling one way or another, you're taking a risk on your very first box. Well, it's OK to ask these guys for advice, but it is up to you whether you take it or not, so no blame is laid at their door. Correct. 
Get us going, Rich. Box 13 starts this Wednesday game. Best of luck. Yes. Yes. take a while is that all right yes it, yeah it's fine you know I always say take as long as you want as long as you're quick about it if you get bored Becca will sing yeah Suzanne, she's had a very positive first step. Second step, please don't spoil it. I'll try. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Fran, number four, please. Thank you, Fran. Good luck, love. Three thousand. Yes. It's not blue, but it's fine. It's blooming low, though, isn't it? Blooming low. Yeah. Colin, please, 18. Second game. First game I thought was memorable because you totally failed to pull the seal off the box <laughs> in one movement. Thank you for that. Left arm on the box. Right arm, hold the top of the seal. And then we go from seal to no seal. <laughs> now. Hey. Now we reveal a blue Colin. <laughs> this is a fantastic opening round. If you can hold this together, you're doing really well. James, 16, please. Thank you. Okay. That bit's low. 15,000. That's all right. That had to go at some point. I think it's good. Yeah. It's great. Blooming good. Yeah. Yep. That's all right. <coughs> Power five plus one. In fact, that would have been greedy, I think, to it have left. Been, it, it could have been construed as greediness. Good afternoon, banker. Yeah, I'm OK, but... Yeah, I think you probably are better. That was sad about Tan. He was a super guy. Mm. Five pounds. Uh, he has noted the fact that you're very popular with the group um, and that they certainly empathise with you and he says that they will share in your tears when you go away with a tiny sum of money. He says the sweetest thing, doesn't, doesn't he? he? Yeah. There was one other thing that could be construed as quite sweet. And that is five pounds. Fortunately, it had 9,000 in front of it. Oh. That, that is a huge, huge opening offer. That's amazing. I think the five pounds might even make it our second highest offer, maybe? Second or third highest offer. That's fantastic. I still have the power five plus one, and all of these guys rooting me on. So, if you wouldn't mind asking me the question, please. 9,000. And Tan's prize. Deal or no deal? 
No, dear, thank you. Well, this is easier because it's only three, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Are you still going to take quite a while? Oh, absolutely. Is that okay? No problem at all. Right. It's, it's your game. Okay. Excuse me. Are you, Are you all right, darling? Yeah. No. Do, do you want me to move so he can sit here? No. Yeah? No. <laughs> <sighs> Not to you, no. Um... Mark, how are you feeling? What are you thinking? Um... I've got no feeling for the box. Yeah. But lately I've had quite a lot of low numbers. Mark, number nine, please. Come on, Mark. Hey. Good luck, Sarah. I'm going to miss you loads. Thank you, darling. I'm going to miss you too. 5,000. <laughs> right. Simone, my darling. 22. Thank you. 75. Right bang through the middle of the power five. It's all right, honestly. Raj, 10, please. Raj, do you think the banker's supremacy can be broken? Definitely. Definitely. But do you think that she can hold her nerve and beat the banker? Yes, definitely. Jason, do you think we can carry the remainder of the Power Five through to the end of the next round? Yes, I do. Yeah. Do you think you can win today? Absolutely. And whether they're right or whether they're wrong, we will find out right after the break. See you in a moment. Hi, I'm Mark from the East Wing. These three... Sarah's game. 75 has gone, but it's a very, very powerful game. As long as box number 10 doesn't reveal one of the big numbers. Change your mind? No. no. Raj, thank you. Good luck, babe. Thanks, darling. Yeah! One pound. <laughs> and now you're thinking? I love Raj. <laughs> Honestly, what are you expecting at this moment? Very strong opening off £9,005. What do you think he is going to do? The reason I ask the question, yeah. I am certain that at some point he is suddenly going to twist and try and break you. And I'm just wondering if the timing is now or he's going to entice you on, making you feel very nice about him. He would have to make me a very, very tempting offer to stop. But because I've taken out the 75, I don't think he will. Hello. And so it begins again. What begins again? Ah. Uh... Here we go, here we go, here we go. He thinks this is the moment where he is about to crush a hapless contestant. I told you. Mm. Oh, he, away he's going. The bang crowd will then say, no deal, no deal, encouraging you into the jaws of disaster. He's doing a horror movie. <laughs> Thank you. See, I told you he'd turn. 4,000. No, that's okay. Okay, shown his colours anyway. Yep. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we talking to people or would that just be a bit of a sham and actually at £4,000 your initial reaction is already in your brain? Well, I've turned down nine and a half, haven't I? Yes. And you've still got the two biggest, most powerful boxes in play. Mm -hmm. £4,000, Sarah. Deal or no deal? No deal, thank you. Thank you. Genteel game, this one.
Buzz, please, 14. Thank you, Buzz. Good luck, sweetheart. Thank you, Buzz. Yeah! Ten pounds. That's all right. You could do with an all blue round. Gorgeous June, please, 21. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh! You've done it again, June! <laughs> 35,000. It's lower than 75, June. Don't you worry about it, darling. Hello, um. Can I have your box, please? Good luck, my darling. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> OK, we're progressing far enough that we can actually say shame about the 35, but not the end of the world. Great. Great? I'm really pleased with that, yeah. Hello. What do you mean it wasn't supposed to happen? All oh, right, okay. She's not playing to the uh, script then. Oh, he says uh, the quarter of a million should have gone in that round. It's not meant to happen. You don't always win, but at the moment, admittedly, you are on a bit of a winning streak. <laughs> I'm pleased you're irritated. Go on, then. OK. Uh, with the two uh, largest numbers still in play, he can't afford to make a mistake. He thinks this is walking money. £15,000. Carlton, you're new to the game. Welcome. Oh, thank you. 15,000, that game play. I know it's a bit difficult to see from this end of the West Wing, but what are your thoughts? I think you should make the banker sweat a little. More pressure. No deal. Can I just swivel for two seconds? Thank you. Great board. I think you get to a point in your game where you do or die moment. It's very dramatic. Well, sort of an all or nothing moment kind of thing. And that is a blooming good offer. And I'm not dismissing it out of hand, but please would you ask me a question? Fifteen thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. It was a lot of money you were just offered. I know. It was I, a I lot of money you that. declined. I know. It will be a significantly greater sum of money if in the next three boxes we do not touch 50, 100 or a quarter of a million. Good luck. Carlton. We've had your view about whether or not she should deal or no deal. We now need you to help her validate her determination to go on. Best of luck, Sarah. Thank you. I'll have a bigger one in a while. We've got a bit of a way to go. <laughs> um, now. This is shaping up to be one of the very best games we have had for a very, very, very long time. Yeah. So, two more. Okay. Drew, number three, please. 
Let's hope the man with the sternest countenance we've ever had <laughs> oh, he's and eyes that would cut concrete is about to deliver anything other than 50,000, 100,000 or quarter of a million. Not those. Good luck, Sarah. Thank you. Oh! No, 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 no. We were doing so well. Oh! <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's get positivity. Oh. Come on, we need to drive this. We've yeah. got to beat the banker. Yeah, no, it's okay. Peter, please. Lovely Peter. Peter, if box 11 is the 100,000, the banker rampage continues and no. she will have lost. Sorry, it's the young man's telling me no. I uh, had a very strong feeling that this boss, in this box, is not good for you at this time. OK, darling. Yeah. Are you going to change your mind? I promised I wouldn't do this, but when somebody that great says to you stop, you listen. And what happens if somebody this great says stop? Then I have to listen. <laughs> we'll be back after the break. <laughs> To recap, we called a halt because Sarah really respects mm. Peter's opinion and Peter thinks he's got the 100,000 there, yeah? So we've stopped everything and now you've got to regroup and rethink where are you going? Stevie. <laughs> what should I do, Stevie? Well, I should keep going, but <laughs> I don't know about with this box. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody dare come to you anymore, dare they? <laughs> I think I should, though. Can I have Stevie number six? We could take a chance, but... She has destroyed so many games in the last week, and you're taking that risk with everything so delicately poised. Yeah, please. Stevie, do your worst. No, Sarah's a friend. It'd be blue. OK, then. Thank you. Now look, <laughs> did I not oh. warn you? You did, but do I ever listen? No. Regrettably, no. Stevie, you are now officially our spookiest player. I am, yes. I am. For some strange reason, I'm still smiling. <laughs> oh, but what a shame. Maybe I'm being selfish. Maybe, yeah, I'm being selfish. I'm just so fed up of these blooming conversations. I'd make him happy, though. Where he just gloats and gloats. Yeah, hello. You're hurt. Why? Um, I haven't enjoyed one of our conversations for some time. The crowing. It's the crowing. Yes, you are. Yes, you are in the dominant position at the moment. But, you know, what about a little bit of humility, sensitivity? Oh, you wouldn't want to hear a lot of that, but um, it ended with him saying his greatest ally has now arrived on the scene, which is self-doubt. No, it has. Well, that's what he's saying about you, and he's trying to compound it by offering you £5,000. It's very oh. kind. <laughs> In the space of three boxes, you have lost £10,000. Mm. 15 crash to 5. Mm -hmm. Started at a fraction over 9,000. It's going like a yo-yo, this one. We've got to break through. I'm ready. Yep. Okay. 5,000 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal, thank you. Thank you. Janie, please, number seven. Janie, so-so do not want to see the 50,000. Thank you, Janie.
I, I wish you the best of luck, I really do. 10,000. It's okay. It's okay, it could have been better, but it's okay. You are still in with the chance of mega money. Patricia, let's go for it. Okay, we're there now. Go on. 50,000. Not again! Oh, this is what we went through yesterday. Oh. For over two weeks, the luck has been on the other end of that phone. I know, it's not fair, is it? Yeah. I assure you, luck has got nothing to do with it. <laughs> Fifteen hundred pounds. Fifteen thousand you declined. And at this key point, he just whipped off the end of it. And he's saying, Fifteen hundred. And he's just saying, I've got you. Hmm. Well, he has, hasn't he? No, not yet. <laughs> you might take him for twenty thousand. No, I'm, I wasn't being fatalistic. I just meant that I lost the biggies. Yes. They went. So he had me on that. This but there is still a game confused. left if you played that. There is still a game left. So is it question time then? Yes, please. Fifteen hundred pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> right. Come on, Tom. Do worst. Oh, you're a blow, yeah? I hope so. Go on, Tom. Really Come on, help us, Tom. Help us, help us. Oh, it's all, right. it's all right, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> One thousand. <laughs> it's all right, it's not ideal, but we're still alive. <laughs> we are, aren't yep. we? Yep. I have a problem here, because there are three boxes that I was avoiding. All right. All of them. OK, well... Peter thought he'd got a red, so that means 20,000 is over there. Ah, oh, but me old lofty as well. I thought I had 50,000, though. Did you, darling? These guys think they've got a red. I okay. was avoiding Becca, so I'm doing twisted logic here. I'm going to go for Becca number nine. OK, so on that basis, there has to be a blue there. Becca, Come on, 19. Yeah. We want the fiver, please. Look, thanks. Yeah. 100 pounds. OK. <laughs> fiver this time. This is a really painful week, this, and for the second day running, everything comes down to a single box. Please, please, box number 11. Lofty thinks he's got red. Oh, look at your face. No? Which, if you hit it, will destroy your game. Peter thinks he's got red, which, if you hit it, will destroy your game. One of these guys is wrong. Anywhere you go, you will get blue. Trust me. Go on, Loft. Go for it. Number eight. Lofty. Boy, oh boy, do we want you to be wrong. Will you do us a big favour? Yeah, I'll try my best. And be spectacularly wrong. doing to us all? Do you know, I think I've aged about 20 years since I've been here. I was 19 when I got here, honestly. Hello. Thank you. Terse. He's not happy. £6,000. You might hiss and groan, <laughs> but what else is he going to do? He wants to crush you. <coughs> what are you thinking? Terry? I think Sarah knows exactly what she's come here to do and she'll carry on and do it. Three sums of money involved. £500, £20,000, or £6,000, Sarah. Deal? Or no deal? I'm 
I'm buying these guys a drink tonight. Deal. <laughs> I am so relieved Thank because you. after yesterday and seeing Tan crash, oh. I did not want to see that again. Yeah. So thank you. Okay. On behalf of those of us who have frazzled nerves <laughs> at the moment, thank you. £6,000, totally safe. Now, what we want to prove is that Peter has some <laughs> extraordinary powers and that all along he was right to say he had a red in box 11. Mm -hmm. More to the point, he was right to get you thinking that maybe the 20,000 was there and if you didn't get a swap, you were never going to get your hands on it. Yeah. How right is Peter? How wrong were you? Or how right were you? Have you done a great deal? 20,000 was there. You threw away the chance to win £20,000. I know. I'm just going yeah. back to that, that moment just a few minutes ago where mm. we're looking at Lofty and we're looking at Peter mm. and we're thinking, well, one of them's got to be wrong. And both of them were wrong. As we will now prove, Peter, <laughs> would you please open box number 11 and complete this emotionally draining game. There it is, yeah. £500 sitting over there. You're right. Yeah? You all right, Terry? Right. Okay. Truth of the matter is, you could have won £14,000 more. I didn't beat the bank. And the horrid truth is, you didn't beat the bank. It's going to be obnoxious. You, you know, are leaving us now in a really sticky mess. Thank you very much, Sarah. He is going to be impossible tomorrow. But the good news is, Sarah, £6,000. Not bad. No, it's well bad done. £6,000. your name? Dennis. Dennis, I'm coming to you with a question. It's a Wednesday, and on a Wednesday we have the double money, so we've got 1,000, 2,000, or 10,000 pounds available for you. And I've got something else to tell you in a moment about Thursday. But Dennis, would you please say one, two, or three? Three. Thank you very much. Will you open box number three? And it is the big money, it is the 10,000. Fantastic. And will you open the other two boxes, please? Thank you, ladies. Two there, one there. Many congratulations. £10,000 to you. £6,000 rather than mm, 20000 to Sarah. And tomorrow, if you like taking part in Deal or No Deal, you make sure that you're watching because we've got a fabulous surprise tomorrow that could see you winning big, big money. But for now, we've got a huge mountain tomorrow. The banker, not only in the ascendancy, he's going to the stars. He believes he is totally unbeatable. And their chemistry is not very good at the moment. We've got a hell of a strap on tomorrow. Don't miss it. We'll be back. I think you will be. Bye-bye. Coming next, Dawn French is with Paul O'Grady.